morning. I'm Kyle. And I'm Allie. Today is Tuesday, November 5th, 2013. The weather today will be a high of 69 and a low of 55 of cloudy, cloudy skies. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the singing of the National Anthem and the singing of my country to the day. Next, we will pause for the moment of silent reflection. Attention to the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now to our interview with Mackenzie and our special guest, Mr. Singer. Hi, I'm Mackenzie, and this is our special guest, Mr. Singer. Good morning, Mr. Singer. Good morning, Mackenzie. How are you? Our lunch today is pizza, sweet and sour chicken, turkey and cheese sandwich with hamburger bun, sweet potato fries, steamed broccoli, fresh strawberries, pineapple chunks, and cookies. Awesome. Thank you for sharing the lunch menu with us, Mackenzie. Gators, make sure good morning, first and foremost. Happy Tuesday. Hope everybody is beginning their day in the great Gator way. As you're making your lunch selections, please be careful of what you choose and select wisely because what you, you select this morning will be what you receive during your lunch hour. Again, as we mentioned earlier, want to make sure that you are meeting the expectations everywhere you go. That includes the lunchroom. I want to monitor your tone of voice. I want you to enjoy your meal, and I want you to enjoy a conversation with your fellow, fellow Gators. But we all make sure that we keep our tones of voice, our, our volume, at a respectable level. 
as you're done, make sure that you take your trade to the receiving line. You don't have to go as a class. Go individually. That actually helps uh, Gator Cafe on the other end as they're preparing to watch and, and, and get ready to shut down the lunchroom, Gator Cafe. So if that helps. You don't have to go as a group. Go individually. And that also cuts down on gridlock traffic in the lunchroom. I believe we have a wondrous word for the day, do we, Miss McKenzie? Yes, sir, we do. What is our wondrous word? If you'll hold it up. Unanimously. Unanimously. Have you ever heard that word before? Yes, sir, I haven't. All right, so this is a new word. Uh, unanimously came to us courtesy of Anna Marie, fifth grader in Mr. Elliott's class. Anna Marie found the word unanimously in a book entitled A Packet in Our Schoolwork. A Packet in our schoolwork. Have you heard that title before? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let's see. You know, I'm looking at this and I think they crossed that out. So I don't think there's a book at all. I think this is actually a packet in their schoolwork. So she found this word in the packet of their materials that they use. Uh, that's kind of resourceful, Anna Marie. So this is the sentence in which they found the word, Anna Marie found the word unanimously. When he ran for a second term as president, he was elected unanimously. When he ran for a second term as president, he was elected unanimously. Hmm, I'm wondering, who is he? What does, how, did he how was he elected unanimously? And ultimately, what does unanimously mean? We know that he ran for the position of president. We know it was a he, but I'm curious as to wonder which of our presidents this corresponds or relates. The way the word is used in the sentence, Anna Marie believes that unanimously means everyone voted for him. What do you think unanimously means, Mackenzie? I think what Anna Marie means. You agree? All right. The definition for unanimously is, if you flip it up, please, and of one mind or in complete agreement. So the way this word is, this sentence is used in this sentence, the word is used in this sentence, Whoever this uh, president who ran for a second term, he was elected unanimously, meaning that everyone voted for, them, for him or the majority voted for him. So very good, very good, wondrous word, Anna Marie, and very observant, very resourceful in finding that in a packet of your schoolwork. Nice to know you're looking at your packet of schoolwork, being responsible and doing your work. Thank you for that. That's all I have for this morning, S3R Gators. Have a great day! SCR!